In this video, I'm going to show you the legendary bounty in Red Dead Online this week that launched on the 12th of November 2019. The target this week is Red Ben Clemson, a train robber. To begin the mission to catch him, you'll need to go to your nearest bounty board in Free Roam to find his bounty poster. This poster states a reward will be paid upon the capture and return, dead or alive, of Red Ben Clemson from the notorious Red Ben Gang. Clemson is a ruthless train robber and killer. Last seen in New Austin, head of the Red Ben Gang, he's known as a sharpshooter. He's got a taste for fine tailored suits and he's considered armed and dangerous at all times. And on this mission, this is exactly how you're going to spot him and differentiate him from his gang. He is the guy in the lavish red suit. After you've selected this poster, as usual, you'll then see a cutscene detailing your bounty target. Now, in terms of weapons for this mission, you will be fighting on a train, so I suggest using a shotgun or dual wield shotguns is your best option. Me personally, I've got a preference. I went for dual wield sawn off shotguns here. And you'll also need something with a bit of range, like a repeater or a bolt action rifle. A sniper might come in useful when you're trying to clear the gang around Red Ben, but a rifle and a shotgun is really all you need here. So after you come out of the cutscene, you'll find yourself in New Austin alongside a train track where you're going to be prompted to meet with the contact. So the contact will let you know that Red Ben is currently on a train in between Armadillo and Tumbleweed and you've got to find him. But he won't give you any more information unless you give him a bit of cash. So this is where you can either decide to give him some money or decide not to. But if you do decide to bribe him, then you'll find out the exact location of the train, which is obviously very handy and will save you a little bit of time rather than having to wait or search in between Tumbleweed and Armadillo. Although to be fair, there's not too much distance between these two towns. So you could save the cash and just ignore the bribe. If you do decide to pass up on the bribe, then the best bet here really is to start on the sort of Armadillo side. It is a very long train, so you should be able to spot it from quite far away and then follow the train track round to Tumbleweed. This will save you a little bit of cash and it shouldn't really take too long either. If you've chosen the bribe as it stays up here in the corner, this will be taken out of your total reward money at the end. So after you've tracked down the train that Red Ben is on, a good idea here would be to start at the top of the train and ride along past it to see if you can spot him and try and highlight him as soon as possible. That way you won't make the stupid mistake like I did, where in the chaos I accidentally blew his face off with a sawn off. One way you could play this mission is to start at the very front of the train, kill the driver and stop the train. Now I don't really advise doing this because it will make you a sitting duck as there's horse riders that come along to support Red Ben and fight against you. So you'll just sort of be swarmed by them. Allowing the train to keep moving makes the enemies a lot more manageable as they're all in sort of one narrow row along the train with just a couple on horseback on the sides. The way I played this mission was I took a couple out from horseback and then I jumped on the back of the train and worked my way up to the front of the train. If you do it this way it means you clear the enemies and when you get to the stage of hog tying Ben hopefully you won't be swarmed by them. As you're moving up through the train it's really useful here to use your shotgun this is what I did and use the cover of the boxes and the barrels on the train to stop yourself getting riddled with bullets from the gang members. Now I don't necessarily mean take cover as in you press the button to go into cover i mean just to stand there briefly and weave in and out of cover to help you go up the train without taking too much damage and of course if you need to take tonics maybe you've taken a lot of damage then using this cover along the train will be very beneficial i would also say always take out the immediate threat and usually the immediate threat are the horsemen that are alongside the train because they will be shooting you in the back as you're trying to work your way up the train after you find him try not to kill him as i said obviously i failed in that and i did accidentally kill him but pay attention to the prompt at the bottom of the screen because that will tell you when you found him and obviously the mini map will also show the red skull to mark the legendary bounty as it always does so when you do find him try and shoot the gang members that are around him rather than shooting him this is where the sniper rifle if you've chosen to use that might come in quite handy as you can shoot down the train past him and get his gang members it's important to give yourself as much breathing space as possible when you're hog tying a bounty as well as picking it up and putting it on the back of your horse because at the moment these are still very very slow animations and you are a complete sitting duck when you're doing them so depending on whether you've killed Ben or you've managed to keep him alive which of course I advise to do as an alive bounty gets you a better reward than a dead one you've now got to hop off of the train so if he's already dead it doesn't really matter you can just jump yourself off the train with him in your hands but if he is alive I do advise leaving him on the floor running up to the front of the train and stopping it manually this will mean you're not risking his life by chucking him off the side of the train along with yourself it is going quite slowly so the likelihood is he will survive but if he's already taken some accidental bullets along the way then you are risking losing both cash and xp if you chuck him off after you've hogtied him you've cleared the train he's off of the train you will get some hassle as well so be 
be wary of that. Also, as I'm sure you're all aware, you can loot the enemies as sometimes they carry collectibles that you can then sell to Madden Nazar. So if you fancy it, you can go along the train and loot the enemies that you've just killed. After that, take him back to the sheriff and collect your reward. And there you go, that is the legendary bounty for this week. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. If you're interested in a podcast conversation style video in which me and Pineapple and a Hazard discuss potential new roles that we could see in Red Dead Online in the future, then click the video on screen now. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Jane Cookie. Cheers.